Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can automatically receive new Google Form responses data to your WhatsApp group. Here, Google Forms and WhatsApp are two different applications and there is no direct connection between Google Forms and WhatsApp. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Pabli Connect. So that whenever a new form is submitted in Google Forms, Public Connect will automatically send message to WhatsApp group. And you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with an example and learn the whole process. Okay, so this is my Google form that is blog competition form and this is the sheet that is Google sheet that is associated with this form and this is my chat API through which I'm going to send message on this WhatsApp that is in this group. Okay, sales team. Okay, so here in that form section, I'm going to fill this form any random person that is suppose Shreya Jen. Okay, now email Shreya at the rate gmail.com okay and the phone number is suppose okay just scroll it down and the city is suppose indoor okay now submit it now we will check our google sheets okay so here it is received now i'm going to check my whatsapp whether i received the message about this detail of form or not okay so here okay new participant register name shreya jen and the details of that participant okay so we have got the message on whatsapp group and that's how we have connected our google forms and whatsapp now to learn the process and to initiate the process let's type pabli.com in the new tabs browser okay so here in this tab i'm going to type pabli.com p-a-b-b-l-y dot com and press enter Okay, so this is the site of Pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to sign in. As I've already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. So sign in. Okay, so this is my account and here I'm going to click on connect access now. Okay, that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button. So just click on it and here you have to name your workflow. So I'm giving it name as Google Forms to WhatsApp. Okay, now click on create. Okay, so whenever you will click on create, these two windows will appear. Okay, before that, I just want to mention that I will add the link of this workflow. This is the name of your workflow and I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. Now these two windows. Okay, this is known as trigger window and this is known as action window. Okay, so you might be thinking what is this trigger action or trigger action window. So let me tell you when we talk about automation in Pabli Connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says let me just scroll it down okay do this okay so in this use case whenever a new form is submitted will be a trigger and send message to whatsapp will be action of this whole process okay so first in this trigger window we are going to select a trigger application as google forms okay so this is google forms Okay, now here the trigger event is new response in spreadsheet because whenever anyone fill the response or whenever anyone fill the form, it will get the response in that Google sheet. Okay, so here I have already created this form that is solo singing competition form. Here I'm going to preview it okay so this is my already created form and this is the spreadsheet that is associated with this solo singing form. Okay, so here I'm going back to this public connect. Okay, now here I'm going to just follow these steps to get connected with Public Connect. Here, what we are doing actually, we are connecting Google Forms and WhatsApp. Okay, before that, we are going to connect Google Forms with Public Connect. That means we are collecting the data from Google Forms to Public Connect and then we are sending data from Public Connect to WhatsApp. Okay, so for the connection of Google Forms and Public Connect, we are going to follow these steps. And here I'm going to just copy this. Okay, now I'm going back to this solo singing sheet. 
okay so here that work webhook will be helpful in connecting pably connect and google forms okay so before that i'm going to hear this form and here i'm just going to add the response okay so here i'm going to add the response as that is any and this is malhotra okay now here email email is any at the rate gmail.com okay now here phone okay now city is suppose delhi okay now here i'm going to submit the form and the submit is records it is submitted okay so here i'm going back to this sheet and here we have got the response okay so i'm just adjusting the alignment okay so it is done now what i'm doing i'm sending this data to pably connect for that i'm going back to this pably connect and here we have copied this webhook url why we have copied it because we'll be requiring it in this google sheets okay so here in the google sheets this extension just click on it and here you have to click on add-ons and you have to click on this get add-ons okay so here let it just load it okay this is google workspace marketplace here you have to search for pably connect webhooks okay pably connect webhooks okay now here it is searching for it okay so here it is already installed in my system okay so from here you have to install it and here you just close it and here whenever you come in google sheets you have to refresh the sheet okay so i'm refreshing it okay now it will the public connect webhooks will be visible here let me just show you okay here it is visible so just click on it and here you have to click on initial setup okay now here you have to paste the url which url we have just copied it okay this one just copy it one more time and here in this spreadsheet here in the initial setup section just paste it in the webhook url section here trigger column which is the trigger column trigger column is the last column up to which you want to capture your response or capture your details so here in my case it is e okay so i'm going to just click on send test request okay so just click here okay okay so the data sent successfully okay so here in the public connect okay so here we have received the response okay whenever you will click on this waiting for webhook response this data will be captured okay so here whenever you want to recapture the data just click on this button okay before you add any details okay so here we have received the details in public connect now what we are going to do we are sending the form submission details to whatsapp group but where are the details of the group or the contacts of whatsapp there is no group or contact visible so for that first we have to get the details of whatsapp groups then only we will be able to send these details to our whatsapp group so for that i'm using a third party application that is chat api first to receive the details of the contacts and then to send the message okay so for the very first i'm using it as to get contacts or group details okay so here it is chat api chat api is a paid software and public connect doesn't own it okay so here in the action event i'm going to choose it as get contacts or groups okay this one and here i'm going to click on connect okay so here add new connection and here api url and token will be visible now you might be thinking from there you will get these url or token so let me tell you this is my chat api here whenever you will be done with the installation and account setup and your connection of phone this url and token will be visible now the link about the installation account setup and the connection of phone is provided in the description box you can directly visit from there okay so this is the api url so just copy it okay and this is public connect here and just paste it here 
Okay, now here the token. So get back to chat API and here just paste, just copy it and just paste it in the token section. Okay, now save it. And we have successfully connected chat API with public connect in order to get the contacts or group details of WhatsApp. Okay, so here I'm going to click on save and send test request and we will receive all the details of the groups and contacts. Okay, so we have received the response. That means we have got all the contact details. Okay, now here you have to search in which group you want to send the details of the form submission. Okay, so here I'm going to search for my group as and here it is sales. Okay, sales team. Okay, so this is my group and this is my group ID. Okay, so here what I'm going to do, I'll just copy this ID and will paste it in my next action window. Okay, so here we have got the details. Now I'm adding another action window to send message. Okay, so here I'm just using action application again as chat API. Chat API. Okay, now here and the action event, I'm going to choose send message at this time. Okay, now I'm going to click on connect. And here I'm going to add a new connection and here the API URL and token. Okay, so here the API URL again, I'm going back to my chat API and this is my API URL. I'm just going to copy it and just going to paste it over here okay this is my token and token is this one and here the token is here okay now click on save so here we are again connected chat api with public connect okay so here i'm going to add the contact or group detail over here so i'm just going up in the window and here Again, I'm going to search for my sales team group. Okay, so this is my group and here this is the ID. So I'm just going to copy it. Okay, and here I'm just going to paste in my this section. Okay, contact our group. Okay. Okay, this is pasted. And here in the phone number, I'm not going to add anything because I, I'm not sending that particular form response in any phone number or any contact i'm so sending it to a group okay so here the message we can simply write the message as new form is submitted okay and here you can write name okay now here the mapping thing what is the mapping thing here in this drop down all the fields are visible which details or which uh, details are visible that is our windows details okay that we received in public connect from google form responses so these details are available here in the drop down and you can just simply map it from there okay so the name is any malhotra okay and here email Okay, so the email is basically this one. Okay, now phone number. Okay, so again from here, this is the phone and here city. Okay. Okay, so the city is Delhi. Let me just scroll it down. Okay, this is now here we have submitted or we have filled the details in this message fields and here i'm just going to click on save and send test request okay so here i'm just going to click on it 
okay so the response is received that means the message has been sent to that sales team group okay so now i'm going back to this whatsapp and we'll see whether we receive the detail here or not okay so here the detail is new form is submitted name email phone and city everything is visible here okay so we have successfully connected google forms with whatsapp now i'm going back to my Pabli connect window and here i'm just going to minimize my action and trigger window Okay, and the last one is trigger. So here what we have done, we have built a connection between Google Forms and chat, a chat API that is WhatsApp. Here what we have done, first we have connected our Google Forms with Public Connect and then we have connected Public Connect with chat API in order to send WhatsApp messages. Okay, first we got the contact details and then we have sent the message. Okay, so that's how we have connected Google Forms and WhatsApp. And not just these two software, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Public Connect. Link of Public Connect and this workflow is given in the description. For any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. That is E-D-M-I-N at the rate P-A-B-B-L-Y dot com. And if you really found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.